Should you use coin or dagger to or dependency injection with your next Android app? Now there's been um, a coin coming along and it's a very big um, a competitor against dagger 2. Now um, a dagger 2 has been around for a very long time um, and it was um, adopted by the majority for, de for dependency injection or at least for, for Android. Now it's very hard to find a very big Android app that doesn't have dagger for dependency injection that's because dagger is very popular and that's very that that's actually changing now and some apps are actually using coin instead of dagger so should you use dagger or cop or coin now um the benefits of dagger 2 that it's it's um it's pretty much mainstream it's very popular you are going to find a lot of tutorials a lot of um, solutions to problems that people have with Dagger 2. It's a very big benefit and it's been around for a very long time. So a lot of the bugs are going to be gone. There's a lot of things you, you're going to have a lot of benefits with that, um, including finding a developer. So so if you're you're an employer or you're a senior developer on the team, it's going to be a lot easier to find a Android developer with Dagger experience than it is to find a person with experience again a dependency injection isn't that complex you can probably learn dagger 2 or coin within one or two days um, but, but to find a person with, with the skills dagger 2 wins and with um bugs and um fixing bugs finding answers on stack overflow again dagger wins on that now where does coin win at so coin is it's somewhat new um, well, newer than Dagger, Dagger 2 at least, but, um, with Coin, you don't get the answers on Stack Overflow. It hasn't been around for a very long time, so it's going to be some bugs. Um, I haven't encountered any bugs with Coin, really, but you never know with a new update, there might be a bug, and there might not be any solution on Stack Overflow or anything, because it's not a very good amount of people developing with coin and trying to fix things so coin benefits in the way that coin is actually a lot simpler than dagger in my opinion so when i do dagger so when when i first learned it learned dependency section i learned dagger 2. dagger 2 for me was very complex i said I went to myself when I first learned Dagger 2, I said, why, why do this? The, the, um, um, uh, it looks very complex. It made the app feel a lot more complex than it really was. Um, just to get it started, it took so many classes and it was just so many lines of code. It was just way too much. And I decided that dependency injection wasn't really, um, wasn't really important because it was just so much work and it was just, um, very messy in my opinion now with coin well on my first first before that at a certain time i found out that dependency injection is very important for at least bigger apps you don't really need it for smaller apps like a, a very small app that does like one or two things but if you want like a an uber app you need to, you need dependency injection so i saw the importance of d dependency the eye and um with coin it's a lot easier so you only need your your module and your in your in your application like two classes and i mean you can start coin with like 20 lines of code and that's it um colin you need i mean i'm not colin dagger you need a whole bunch of lines of code you need to refactor some of your code in your presenters for example if you're using that for dependency injection you need to change those classes a little bit and with coin you don't have to change anything it's all within the module and uh what you customize with coin you don't really have to customize any of the classes so it made it a lot easier at least for me um to pretty much do dependency injection it's actually very simple um, I don't even have to think about it with, with Dagger, I had to think about it 
all the time at it, constantly look up tutorials on on how to get started at it, even if um, I just used it last week. Very confusing. Um, and all over the place. So coin is actually a lot easier, which in my opinion, I think makes it a ton more better. Even if it's not mainstream, makes it a ton, um, just a lot more better. So in a medium sized project, I would use coin instead of dagger. Not a large project, mainly because coin doesn't have the following the same as dagger. But for a medium-sized project, I would use coin. 